The Lament is a brand new sword introduced into D2 Beyond Light, and I would have made a guide on how to actually get that weapon up on the channel, but when the exotic quest dropped, I was, uh, how do I put this? Bottom, 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 bottom. We're good, we got time. God! Teleporting like a nerd! <laughs> Busy getting my ass handed to me on the day one raid. Yeah, kinda wish I had done the video instead. But hey, got my day one emblem, so take that, Bungie. But before we get going, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Ridge Wallets. These things are beautiful, and I'm glad to promote them on my channel because I've actually been using one myself for about the past year. No joke, this right here has been my actual wallet. A lot of guys I know are still lugging around wallets like this. Big, bulky, floppy, and uncomfortable, doesn't sit well in your pocket, and you gotta move it around when you sit down. As I mentioned, over a year of the Ridge Wallet, and I'm just never going back. It's light, sleek, and efficient. It doesn't fold or bulge out awkwardly in your pocket. It's got room for all my cards and a clip for bills when I am carrying cash. They've got over 30 colors and styles on their website, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. Sounds like a destiny shader. They've got 30,000 five-star reviews, one of them being mine, and each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. Yes, you can buy just one wallet and boom, carry and use it for life. The Ridge is so confident you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days, and if you don't, you can send it back for a full refund. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash falloutplays and use promo code falloutplays. Link to their site in the video description, and thank you again to Ridge for sponsoring today's video. Anywho, if you haven't gotten the lament yet, spoiler alert, it's good. The Banshee's Whale perk allows you to bypass shields and handle anti-barrier champions like they're nothing. It also does heavy damage, but I still see some people holding out, clutching onto their falling guillotines, refusing to give anything new a chance. And to be fair, I can see where they're coming from. Guillotine has been top dog for so long, it's hard to imagine slashing another big bad enemy with anything else. After all, guillotine still feels really good. But as we all know, feelings are not numbers. So let's do a little science and put the lament and the guillotine in a head-to-head -head competition for who actually hits harder. Well, because Bungie took away my tribute haul. rude, by the way. My test subject was the very unwilling Xurz, the chonky wanted cabal on the EDZ. I ran up and whacked away at him multiple times for a really long amount of time, like a shocking amount of time, uh, in an attempt to figure out which the hardest hitting weapon was. In order to be fair, I gotta use a guillotine that's actually good. Can't use a trash roll and bring down the weapon right out of the gate. I'm going with this, which I consider to be a PvE god roll. Relentless strikes, and Whirlwind Blade. Now, Relentless is only going to help with occasional ammo regeneration, while the extra damage comes entirely from Whirlwind. Repeated striking improves weapon damage for a short duration up to a maximum of 30%. There are other damage perks we can examine on the guillotine, but again, I think Whirlwind Blade is the perk most considered to be the god roll for PvE because it has no triggering condition other than swinging the weapon. Doesn't require you to block an attack and actually take damage, like Counter Attack, which wouldn't help you at all on boss DPS like Riven or Atrax 1, and Surrounded is a perk that won't help you damage-wise in a 1v1. So again, Whirlwind Blade it is. I'm also slapping on a boss spec mod on my guillotine, because again, that is something legendary weapons can take advantage of that Lament can't. Let's take a look at the damage numbers on light swinging first, starting with the guillotine. Not too shabby, in the light swing department, guillotine starts off with a base of 13k, and with a full 5 stack of whirlwind, that comes to a grand total of 17 to 10 per swing. Keep in mind that's also with the help given by a boss spec mod, 17k per hit, is nothing to sneeze at by any means. Now, before taking a look at the damage numbers from Lament, I have to inform y'all how the weapon actually works. You can swing it like normal if you wish, it'll do decent damage like any sword. Your standard power attack is a rising uppercut. However, that is not the way Bungie intended players to use this sword. In order to do that, we have to activate the exotic perk, Banshee's Whale, which thankfully is incredibly easy to activate. All you gotta do is hold block to rev up the blade, and boom, now we're in business. Don't need to get hit by an attack like counterattack, don't need any interaction from your enemy at all. Hold block for literally under one second to rev up the blade, 
good to go. Like an exotic version of Whirlwind, damaging enemies in Rev mode gives you stacks of Banshee's Whale up to a maximum of nine. The higher Banshee's Whale you get, the more damage you put out. When in Banshee's Whale, using your heavy attack changes from a standing uppercut to a spinning overhead slam. That right there is the true heavy attack that does by far the most damage. But we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Back to comparing the base light attacks. For the Lament, the light swing does doesn't really compare to the guillotine's times five whirlwind hit. But remember, that's at the absolute base. That isn't Lament's final form. Let's go ahead and activate Banshee's Whale by hitting the block button for half a second, then swing away. In that department, Damn, do the numbers look different. The very first hit already clocks in at 21,696. Not only is that way more than Whirlwind Guillotine, that's the bottom end of the damage scale. Every hit gives you more of Banshee's Whale, and by the end, if you were to only light attack, you'd be dishing out over 26,517 damage, per light attack. Not only is the first hit harder than Guillotine's light attack ceiling, by the second swing you're doing over 9,000 damage more than max Whirlwind Guillotine. But we all know that ain't the max amount of damage you can do for either weapon, so let's get to the heavy stuff. Guillotine's heavy attack is the spin to win move that we all know and love. There's multiple damage ticks per spin, and obviously you want to use the spin when your charge stat isn't depleted for more damage output overall. Here's how the Guillotine weighed in against our good buddy Zers, a regular full power spin clocked in at a grand total of 52,129 damage. That is across multiple damage markers all added up together. But you can hit even harder if you power up Whirlwind to level five via light striking and then spin to win. In that case, the damage from the final spin under times five Whirlwind came out to about 64,536. Outside of a team-related damage buff, that is the hardest hit you're gonna be able to pull off with the guillotine. And remember, we cannot spam the heavy attack with guillotine. I mean, you can, but because you're not letting your sword's charge meter replenish, your damage output is going to be significantly lower. You gotta wait for that charge to come back while light striking before you can dish out another full damage power attack. How does Lament square up with its hardest hitting attacks? The standing power uppercut only does 49,420, blaze it, falling short of the Whirlwind's 52 and 64K. But remember, that's not the hardest Lament can go. Rev that bad boy up, which again, takes literally no time or effort to do, and standing heavy attack. Doing that right out the gate, here are the damage numbers. If you compare the first strike power swing of both weapons, Guillotine's heavy attack hits harder right out of the gate. But if we looked at a times five whirlwind guillotine spin, we also have to look at a full Banshee's Whale heavy attack. Warning, the following numbers may frighten small children. With just three revved light swings, Lament hits times nine Banshee's Whale, delivering the spinning overhead power strike and great googly moogly. The heavy attack alone at times nine Banshee's Whale does 95,220 damage overall. That's a hell of a lot more than Guillotine's times five whirlwind heavy attack, which remember was around 64K. So now that we have all the numbers, let's compare the damage output of each sword's maximum combo. For the guillotine, that would be light swiping up until times five whirlwind, which remember takes six swings to do because you don't start off with any whirlwind, then unleashing your heavy spin attack. And for lament, it is three revved light swings, then unleashing the heavy overhead slam. Yeah, there's no denying it, lament hits harder. The numbers 169K to 155, K look kind of close, but remember, Lament achieves those numbers in four swings where Guillotine requires seven and still falls short. In terms of dealing crazy damage to a single target, any target that doesn't fly should be deathly afraid of Lament. And this has nothing to do with damage output, but the fact that Lament can also heal the wielder while dealing damage is just icing on the cake. You can run into a hot combat zone, dish out unreal damage, and heal in the process. You know how Bungo occasionally puts out a weapon that if you miss out on, you wish later that you'd really gotten it? Hashtag Felwinter's lie. Yeah, Lament is that weapon for Beyond Light. And by the way, just because there's a new sheriff in town 
doesn't mean you should throw your guillotine in the trash. Not only is the DPS output still great, but remember that Lament is exotic, meaning if you want to use a different exotic weapon, guillotine's a rock solid backup. Also, guillotine's spin to win attack works very well if you're suddenly getting mobbed out of nowhere and want a little breathing room. Not to mention that if you masterwork guillotine, you're capable of producing orbs, something that Lament can't currently do. But yeah, damage-wise, Lament takes the cake, and I highly recommend it. If you haven't kicked off that quest, for the love of God, go get it done right now. I remember that back in the day, some people didn't want to go after anarchy because raiding can be a pain, and RNG and all that, I get that, but you have no excuse right now. Lament has a interesting solo mission that requires zero rating, zero RNG, and I don't know, maybe an hour max of your time. You'll thank yourself later. Oh, and uh, don't forget to put on the armor mod Lucent Blade to really make enemies cry when you are charged with light. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know by hitting the like button. For the record, I have a bunch of new God Roll videos on the way for Beyond Light. Can't wait to get back into those again. Don't miss any by ringing the notification bell, which also improves your elo. Science can't explain it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.